I can't say I've ever seen a movie trailer that talked about who was the cinematographer as much as this one did. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Strange Darling. Now, this was a movie that came out a little while ago. And, uh, it is directed by J.T. Molnar. This is his second film that he's directed. He's done a lot of shorts beforehand. And like a lot of the advertising kept on talking about, Giovanni Risby, or Rishibi, but he is the cinematographer of this film, to the point where they just kept on talking about it in the trailers. The film shot pretty decently. I'm not going to say anything about that. It's like not like too stellar, but it's shot well. However, the one thing I will say right off the bat, for any of you who have ever watched highbrow graduate student films, this feels like one for a good portion of the first half. When you see the title card of shot entirely on 35 millimeter film, you're like, oh, okay, all right, the pinky's already up. And then you start to see the chapter names and then your eyebrows up and you can just feel the pretentiousness just exuding off the screen. It is almost to a nauseating degree within the first half of the film. The film follows this uh, couple, uh, one of them played by Willa Fitzgerald, the other played by Kyle Gallner, and it turns out to be some form of relationship gone wrong to a violent degree. However, there's a little bit more under the surface than one would realize, and I will admit, while it is pretentious to do the chapter cards and the non-linear storytelling, it does really seal itself in once you get to the halfway point. The first half of the movie, I would say, is almost kind of pretentious and grating and nauseating. However, once you get to the middle point, it's still pretentious, but it's good. I liked the turn in the narrative, and I think, yes, you have to sit through that opening half. The movie's barely over an hour and 30 minutes long, so you don't have too much to contend with. But once you get over that hump, the movie really solidifies itself of what it is. And I like that aspect to it. I think the performances, especially by Willa, are very well done. I think the film's overall kind of feeling, while definitely that of a graduate film, it does have a good aesthetic to it. And I do like how the story turns and it kind of keeps you guessing and kind of keeps you a little bit in the, oh, huh, kind of feeling. It's the best way I can say it without spoiling it because I don't want to spoil it if you do want to go out and watch it. I'm just saying, prepare yourselves for that nauseating kind of feeling you're going to get. And for those of you who don't mind it, sure, that's great for you. But having seen a bunch of this before, both in professional film and in undergraduate film, uh, yeah, it, it, this was like very... To just clarify about certain pretentious moments, there's a part where she is being chased by the guy through a forest, but she takes the time to stop and smoke a cigarette. I just don't get it. It's at this point, you're like, you should be running for your life. Why are you stopping here? You know he's behind you. I don't know. It, it just felt very out of place. And it just felt because it looked like a good shot. That doesn't happen too often after the halfway point, but it does come up and it's a bit like, why? Why did you do this part other than to kind of just be different? I thought the cinematography credit in the trailers was already a bit pretentious. This movie just goes off on a tangent. Were there some parts that were not at all subtle, like kind of feeling like it was having to explain things to you because they're like, oh, you won't get it. You don't get my vision. There's a few conversations in the movie, one in particular, the beginning where they're in a car and they're talking about a uh, danger for women. I actually thought that worked well, especially with what the film turns into. But it can come off as a little bit pretentious. And then there's another scene later on between two cops and Willa. And that came across as quite pretentious. But in the end, I think that the film still has some solid elements to it. If a bit pretentious, it still has a good turn to it. And it has a good narrative to it. So in the end, I'm going to give Strange Darlings a 4 out of 7. My camera died, so I'm just going to basically show the end screen here. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. If you guys have any thoughts about the movie, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be very, very interested to see what you guys have to say. Please tell me how I should pronounce Giovanni's last name. And until then, I will see you guys next time.